She was born at the laboratory. She had never, ever been free. And she was very, very pregnant. She was really, really scared. I'm Shannon from Beagle Freedom Project, and this is Rose's story for GeoBeats. We rescue animals from animal testing. Since we started in December of 2010, we've rescued over 3,000 animals. Rose was rescued from an animal testing laboratory where she was born. This is the laboratory that Beagle Freedom Project closed down. The majority of the testing that they did was for flea and tick medication. Hi, baby. Rose, we noticed right away, was pregnant, and I could tell she had been used over and over. We're gonna go home and go sleepy, okay? I'm guessing she is about eight years old. What are we gonna do with you? When are you gonna have your babies? I want to see who they are. There was something about Rose that spoke to me where my heart just melted and I knew that we needed to be together. She had never had a toy or a treat or a cuddle or a bed. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, baby. Give me a rose. She crawls because she's scared, but she wants the love. It's okay. I like to call them newborns in adult bodies because they never had anything and they don't know anything. You're not alone through this. You're not alone. You're not alone. I have toys all around my house for my dogs and baskets of toys and I didn't think that she would even want one. And then one day I see her go into the toy basket and she grabbed out this little squeaky toy and she threw it in the air and she started squeaking it and she started running around the house nonstop with the squeaky toy. And it was like the moment of joy of on her face was like the best thing I've ever seen in my life. She's taken all the toys out of this one basket and set up in the guest room for her puppies. Rose gave birth to seven healthy puppies, four boys, and three girls, and they're all doing very well. Rose is so attentive to her puppies. I've actually never seen a dog this attentive. I can definitely tell that she is being protective because she probably never had this luxury of being able to be in a safe space with her babies. We know that she had at least one litter because there's a record of that litter from the laboratory. Two. They're so big. Because all you've been doing is feeding them and you've been doing such a good job. She is always licking them, cleaning them constantly, and she's constantly feeding them. Uh-oh, uh-oh. gonna fall. They're just a little over a week old and they're big and fat and healthy. Thank goodness. She's doing a good job. Come on. There you go.